of condition contract how does it work i'm going to show you the basic in this video so you can understand how it really works and how you can use it it's important to know how it works and how to use it because when you use it in the future you never know what happens and you can save you money sometimes so let's go to the drawing board and in the drawing board i'm going to show you how it works so when you talk about the contract it's just an agreement between number one and number two so they shake hand they have an agreement that's simple yeah in the agreement you can put whatever you want yeah as long as it's according to the law of your country of the other law so you can put whatever you want yeah so those two have a contract this is the contract yeah but what if you have a lot of customers so imagine this is you as a company and you have a lot of customer do you need to give every person uh, let's say a contract thing is it can cost a lot of time and money and you will burn a lot of resources so what you can do so imagine you have here let's say 1000 uh, customers what you can do is you can make a terms and in the terms you put the general conditions the general condition that's why it calls term general terms general condition general terms for your customers and what does it mean you will give your customer an individual price or a quote doesn't matter they can order something but they need to agree that they accept the terms and why do you do this this is to save time and also because these are things that you do every time so every time when something buy someone buy you're still using this the general terms so you just reserve to that document and when you have a contract with one of your customer so this is you this is one of your customer when you have contact with one of your customer you have the proposal and the terms as a contract so this whole thing is the contract between you and a customer you remember at the beginning i said normally you have a contract between one and two now you don't have one contract you have two documents the proposal and the terms when you accept those two this is the whole contract between you and your customer and apply for every customer so this will be always the same for every customer it can be different because for one customer you can charge this for one service of one customer you can charge that for that customer you understand what i mean so you have terms of condition you have contract terms of condition can be part sorry terms you have terms of condition you have contract terms of condition can be part of a contract or contract you can refer, um, refer to a term of condition so if you sign this contract you agree with you agree with the terms that's on the website so that's how it works so terms of condition can be part of a contract but i'm sometimes no i'm not saying that so terms of condition can be part of the contract so watch out for that so we have this whole part i hopefully you understand it when you talk about terms of condition as soon as you accept it you have a contract if i make an account on facebook i have a contract with facebook because i make an account as a proposal and they're saying in the proposal as soon as you make an account you need to agree with the terms of facebook same apply for other social media platform and that's how it works so that means the contract that i have with facebook is this but i also accept the terms so i technically have a contract with facebook if you have questions about it feel free to contact me feel free to join the discord and ask me questions about it if you're new to this channel feel free to subscribe and i will see you in the next video